Hey, my name is Mark and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to be covering a low res pixelated post process effect in UE4 and 5 with a couple extra features thrown in there as well. I'm currently working on a game called Button Pop. It's actually going to be out really soon and would really appreciate it if you can go on over to Steam and wishlist it today. But with that said, let's get into the tutorial. Alrighty, so if we right click and create a material and call this low res underscore M and if we double click and jump on in here and open this guy up and if we give ourselves a wee bit of space under material domain we're going to want to make this a post process material and if we right click and create a scene texture and we want to set this node to a post process input zero chuck this guy into the emissive color this is going to give us our scene render but to get our pixelated effect we want to manipulate the UVs so we give ourselves a bit of space and we right click and create a texture coordinate and out of here if we add 0.5 and then if we multiply this we're going to want to multiply this by the screen resolution so we right click and create a screen resolution and just for now we're going to decrease this by a percentage so if we drag it here and multiply and then if we hold s and left click and create a parameter and we call this screen percentage and for now if we put this to 100 And out of here, if we divide this by 100, chuck this guy into the multiply, this here will allow you to control the percentage of the resolution. Okay, so if we connect this guy up here and just bump this guy a wee bit back, and then out of the multiply, we need to floor this and then divide this by what we've just multiplied this with so let's get into here yeah, it's like this and then we need to subtract what we've added so if we create a subtract like this and because we've added 0.5 here we just need to take away 0.5 and then if we connect this guy up to the UVs like this and apply and then if we go into our scene like this and we right click on our material and create a material instance and then if we go to our post process volume in our scene and go all the way down to post process materials and under array if we click the little plus sign and click the little drop down and add an asset reference and if we just drag in our instance like this and double click on our instance and open this guy up like this we should have a value here called screen percentage now if we lower it as you can see, we're getting this pixelated effect, which is pretty cool. Sick, but we kind of want to control this a little bit more. So if we head back into our material and just bump this guy back a little bit. And just over here, if we drag our screen percentage like this, and we're going to want to create two different ways of controlling this. So if we right click and create a switch, a static switch parameter, and we're going to want to call this use layers resolution. And if you connect this guy up to the output, we're going to start making these values. Now, if this is true, we really want to connect this guy up like this, but we can actually add a little bit of functionality here. So if we duplicate this, down, like here and if we rename this to screen percentage horizontal and if we duplicate this into here but this time we want this to be vertical like that and if we append these two together just like this and chuck this guy into the multiply this is going to allow us to control the resolution on two different axes 
But what happens if you want to lock this effect regardless of the player's resolution? Well, if we duplicate these guys down here and your append, like this, and on the top one, if we rename this to manual horizontal and manual vertical, and on the horizontal one, we want to set this to 1920 and the vertical by 10A. And we chuck these guys into the append and then the append into the false. This will give us a sort of locked resolution effect. So if we press apply and go back into our scene. And right now we are on the locked effect. So if we pull these guys in to like a specific resolution, that kind of works there. But if we want to use the player's resolution and then affect it by the percentage, we've got that too, which is cool. Okay, so but what happens if you want to isolate this effect to say a character or an object? Well, we can use the custom depth stencil to do that. First of all, to get this to work, if we go into our project settings and open this guy up, and if we search for custom depth, under custom depth stencil pass, we're going to want to make sure this is enabled with stencil, like here. Now, once that's set up, if we go back into our scene and into our material, let's give ourselves a bit of space on this end, like here, we're going to want to use the custom depth stencil to mask between our effect and the rest of the world. So if we duplicate this guy up here, and this is going to be our um, real world render. Cool. And if we create a LERP, which is going to uh, blend these two together. So if we put this into the B and this guy into the A, just chuck this guy into the output. And now all we need to do is get our custom depth stencil. So if we duplicate this guy down here, and if we set this to custom stencil, like this, and if we drag out and divide by 255, and then we mask this by a component mask, and just make sure it's on the red for now. And if we right click and create a bit mask, chuck this guy into here. And if we left click and press S to create a parameter and call this target bit. And for now, let's put this to 10 and chuck this guy into the bit. And then if we saturate this for safety, and just as a nice little extra feature here, if we create a switch, again, and we call this mask inclusive, it's a little question mark, and if it is inclusive, we'll put this into the true, and if it's not, we'll do a one minus, and chuck this guy into the false, and what this is going to allow us to do is pick between whether or not you want a character or object to be included in this effect or removed from this effect. Now if we saturate this and chuck this guy into our mask like this and apply and save and go back into our scene, you'll notice this guy is sort of picked out from this effect. And the reason for this is that if we select this guy and go into his details and if you search for custom depth, you'll notice if you click the custom depth on and set the stencil value to 10, just like in our material, the actor will be cut out from the effect. And if we go into our material instance and click on our mask inclusive, you can invert it so you can only affect the character as well, which is pretty cool. Now, the only issue with this effect is that you might get some flicker around the edge, and that's because of temporal A. To solve this, if we go into our project settings and type in anti-aliasing, 
and under anti-aliasin method, as standard is set to temporal super resolution or temporal anti-aliasin, but for this effect it's best to use FXAA so it can get rid of the flickering. But just as a warning, Unreal Engine uses temporal AA for a lot of its effects, so this needs to be a conscious decision. Now if we go back to our material, there's one more option I want to add to this effect. Now if we go to our custom stencil here, and we right click and create a switch, like this, we can actually include the pixelization effect to the mask itself as well. So in here, if we name this pixel mask, like this, and chuck this guy into the UV, and if this is true, we want to chuck the subtract into true, like this. And if it's false, we want to use the screen position and the viewport UV. Cool. So if we apply and save and go into our scene, so it's like this. And under pixel mask, we turn this guy on. You'll notice it kind of cuts out now and the pixelization effect actually is included on the mask, which is pretty cool. Sick. But yeah, that's the end of this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below. And if you want to show support, go on over to Steam and wishlist button pop today. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.